There is a fever and unease among the political parties in South Africa, more especially among the four biggest parties in KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng. The two provinces are up for grabs, and any of the four political parties can win. However, in KwaZulu Natal, there is a new kit on the block the African United Movement, led by former EFF parliamentarian Vuzi Koza, Koza, who was expelled by economic freedom fighters for failing to organize a bus is backed by one of the second biggest church in South Africa. Should Vusikoza enter the race for premiership of KwaZulu-Natal, the EFF will encounter a serious threat from their former chairperson. While the AUM will be parading Vusikoza, the EFF, on the other hand, will with no doubt or hesitation unleash Magazela Mzobe, the former ANC Youth League leader in South Africa. Mzobe, who understands the politics of the African National Congress inside out, will definitely do wonders for EFF in KwaZulu Natal. Should the economic freedom fighters decide to field him as premier candidate? Should the EFF field Magazela Mzobe, who is still new in the economic freedom fighters, the Democratic Alliance will not have any mercy as they will unleash the Zulu speaking Christopher Papas, who is dearly loved by people of KwaZulu Natal because of his excellent record of service delivery at Umgen Municipality. The Inkata Freedom Party, IFP, if they are serious about winning KwaZulu Natal, they will have no option but to recall Nkulile Kotlengwa from National Parliament and deploy him as premier candidate in KwaZulu Natal for the IFP. The ANC, on the other hand, will have no difficulty difficulty in deploying the charismatic and more trusted cater of the movement, Sboniso Duma, to lead the multitude of ANC supporters and sympathizers to the polling station for them to vote ANC come 2024 election. It is indeed going to be the most difficult election for ANC as they will be battling for the soul of the people of KwaZulu-Natal.